In this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate emails to your prospects or your customers using High Level. This is part of a training program that we put together that you can get for free that explains and shows you step by step how to get up and running in high level in the next 30 days, absolutely free. The software will not cost you a cent because if you sign up with the link in the description, you will get a 30 day trial. Our snapshots will not cost you a cent. In other words, the automations and the email templates and everything that I'm showing you in this video and all the other high level videos that I'm making, you can import that, those into your high level account for free with a few mouse clicks so you can be up and running and you can watch our free training, which this is a part of it. Uh, you can watch the free training to hold your hand every step of the way and get you up and about generating leads and booking calls for your agency. And then you can turn around and you can use the assets that we're giving you and give them to your clients so that your clients can have success with High Level as well. Yes, this is a sponsored video by High Level. Uh, they have sponsored me. They don't have any say over what I say in these videos, but they do send me water bottles, which is nice. It keeps me lubricated while I'm making these videos. And they also sent me this nice light to put put on the uh, shelf there because I spoke at the High Level Summit last year in Dallas, Texas in October, and I'll be out there again this year making an appearance. I'm not sure if I'm speaking yet or not, but I'll definitely be there and attending the conference. We use High Level, I've been using it for over two years now to run a multiple seven figure a year business. We teach agencies how to grow their revenue, how to grow their team, how to fix their processes and become more profitable, how to better serve their clients. We have a team of about 15 running the business now, coaches, client success managers, admin support staff, marketing sales, and our entire business is in High Level. It has saved me tens of thousands of dollars a year and has allowed me to close about 25 browser tabs. That's why I recommend High Level. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you exactly how to to set up email templates and then how to set up automations in high level to reference those email templates. Let's dive in. Okay, once you're logged into the sub account in high level where you want to set up your email automation, the first thing you want to do is come down to marketing here and then go to email templates. Now I like to keep everything organized in folders. So I've actually got a folder here called experiments, which is what I'm going to use for the purpose of this demonstration. And all you need to do is come into the folder and then click on create template and you'll get an option to either use the code editor or the design editor. I'm gonna use the design editor because I'm lazy and code hurts my brain. So the email template is now going to, the email builder is now going to open and this is where you can drag whatever elements you like from the email builder here into your email and you give it a name and uh, choose the settings over here, which I'll explain in a moment. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag an image over. I'm going to delete the instructions and on the image, I'm gonna click on the little edit icon and choose upload from media library. And then in my media library, I'm just gonna choose a folder here and I'm going to add a logo that I've uploaded previously. So this one here, and now I'm going to change the size of this and just make it a hundred pixels wide so it looks nice in an email. Then I'm going to choose another element and I'm gonna add some text to this email. And here is where I will write the email. Now, as I've mentioned in a previous video, plan the emails that you want to send your prospects or your clients. I'll give you a very practical example. We have some free training to help you import our snapshots and get up and running in high level. When you join that free training, you will receive a welcome email with your login details and instructions. So that's the first email that I would write here would be the welcome email for a new community member who has accessed our training. Okay, so now I've written an example email for when someone joins our free training, says, welcome aboard. Hey, contact first name, thanks for joining our free training. You can log into the training here and then uh, some other information here with my username as a sign off and then PS. So in fact, I don't even need that there. Um, and an unsubscribe link will be attached to this email below. Now I can spend, you can spend whatever time you want designing this email, making it look like a plain text email, adding whatever design you want. You come over here and you can manage the appearance of your email. I'm not gonna spend any time doing this. I'm gonna make an assumption that you know how to do that. And I might make a separate video, which is a deep dive into how to actually use the email builder, but that's not this video right now. What I'm encouraging you to do here is just write the emails that you need to send your prospects or your customers once, plan that on a customer journey, and then write the emails once and save it here. I'm going to save this as new trainee welcome.
And now what I'm gonna do is cut, I'm gonna save the template and then I'm gonna come over into the settings here in the ellipsis and I'm gonna have a look at the settings for this email. And this is where I can set the default name, email address, preview text and subject for this email. So every time this email gets used in an automation, it's going to use this information here. I'm going to choose the user full name. So this is the user that this contact is assigned to. When someone joins your high level database by filling in a form or they're manually added, you can set it that they are automatically assigned to a user. Uh, or if you can also change the user that they're assigned to, depending on who they've interacted with, maybe they've received an email from a support ticket and they now are owned by a different team member. Your team members are users and your customers are contacts. So in this case, it's going to use the username of whoever this contact is assigned to. And I'm also gonna say, use the email address of the user that this contact is assigned to. The preview text I'm going to use here is Thanks for joining our free training. And the subject line is going to be, thanks for joining our free training. So when they click on it and they open the email, it says exactly what it says in the preview text for congruency and consistency. I'm gonna save the settings and then just to be certain, I'm now gonna save the template again. I don't need to because if I did need to save the template, there'd be a little icon there, a little blue dot reminding me, but I'm just gonna save it just to be sure. Now that email is saved as a template and it's called new trainee welcome. Now what I'm going to do is dive into the automation builder and show you how to reference this email template in an automation. So I'm going to go back to the main app here and I'm going to come down to automation and I'm going to go into my experiments folder and I'm going to have a look at my email automation demo, which is a brand new automation that I've set up here with nothing in it. Now automations in high level in any modern marketing uh, automation platform, whether it's high level or another system that you're using, these automations are, they have two parts. It's basically triggers and actions. What is it that triggers the automation? And then what does the automation do? So think of it as a, if then, if this happens, then do that. Okay. We're kind of all familiar with that technology and that behavior. If we've been using the internet for any period of time. So this gives you an opportunity to program your own automations. Now I'm going to make a separate video explaining all the different types of automations that you can trigger in high level just to open your mind. But I'll just show you a quick example now. If I click on add new trigger, here are all the different things that I can use to trigger an automation. I'll just randomly pick a couple here. Someone's birthday can trigger an automation. A applying a tag to a contact can trigger an automation. A call status, in other words, we called them, it was an outbound call and they answered uh, once the call has been completed, do we automatically send a message into Slack reminding our sales team to follow up or do we automatically set a task for the person who called them to enter the notes into the CRM or to follow up in 30 days? If they open an email or click a link, we can then trigger uh, some automation. If they submit a Facebook lead form or a TikTok form, we can trigger an automation. If they watch a certain percentage of our video on our sales page, we can trigger an automation. If they book an appointment with our team, we can trigger an automation. If, a, if an opportunity is created in the sales pipeline, we can trigger an automation and so on and so forth. If we sell one of a course, if we give them access to one of our trainings and they complete a lesson, we can trigger an automation. Uh, proposals and estimates, if they abandon the checkout, we can trigger an automation. So really your imagination and your creativity is the only thing holding you back from automating just about every part of your business. And I like to think of this as not replacing human beings, but giving human beings the information they need in the context that they need it so that they can make fast decisions and we can provide a better service to our customers. This is why I love using the automation builder. So in this case, I'm going to say if someone has signed up with one of our forms, we're going to send them I know I'm not, I'm gonna say if they've bought one of our trainings or they've enrolled in one of our free trainings, we're going to send them the welcome aboard message. And in that case, it would mean that we've given them access to one of our groups. So I would click on group access granted. Now I don't have any groups set up in this demo account, so it's not actually gonna work. You're gonna to have to bear with me. And the filter here would say, okay, the group is and then I would put the group in here that they've joined, the community that they've joined, and then the community, joining the community would trigger this email, okay? So once I have my trigger, 
then I choose an action. And in this case, I want to send them an email. And instead of having to write the email, because I've already written it and saved it in the templates, I then come down here and just choose template. And here it is, new trainee welcome. Once I click new trainee welcome, you'll see the information is filled in here. For some reason, the subject line hasn't filled in uh, and it should have. I think it will automatically pull it from the template anyway. There you go. I can override it here or it will automatically pull it from the template. I don't have to write the email. It's already written once. It's designed perfectly. It looks exactly how I want it to look. And what happens is whenever this trigger happens, this email will be sent. I save that action. So whatever I program here as the trigger will automatically trigger this email to be sent. Now, I would encourage you to map out your customer journey. I'll put a link near this video, wherever you're watching it, to a couple of tools that we use to draw flowcharts and draw automations before we build stuff in high level. One is Whimsical, which is a great cloud-based collaboration tool where you can collaborate on flowcharts and diagrams. And the other is SketchWow, which is a terrible name, but it happens to be a great product that you can just install on your Mac. I think it's a Mac only product and it allows you to sketch flowcharts and graphics. We're using SketchWow actually in some of our new YouTube videos, you might see it pop up. And we're also using it to draw our funnels as part of our training. So you've probably seen some of the SketchWow stuff in this uh, in this video or in this training that you're watching wherever you're watching it. And I can't believe I'm saying the word SketchWow. So draw the automations before you program them in high level or whatever platform you're using. The other suggestion I would make is I see a lot of people designing very fancy automations, very complex with different branches and conditional logic, and it's very impressive and very cute. However, when something goes wrong, I, in my experience, you can disappear into your own navel trying to find where the thing's broken. So what I prefer to do is have lots of little automations that do very specific things and have them well documented. We use Notion for our in-house documentation. We're building that out as more of a wiki and what I like to do is just include the sketch wow or the whimsical drawing of the automation with the documentation in Notion and then a link off to the automation in high level. So anyone on the team, if something breaks, they can dive in and find out exactly where it's broken and they know that the automation is the engine that automates things, but the email templates are saved under marketing. I'll also drop a link in the comments to our automation and our email templates and our free training to get you up and running in high level. You can literally, with a few mouse clicks, you can import everything that I've shown you in this video, import it into your own high level account and get a free 30 day trial of high level. It will not cost you a cent. You can be up and running in the next hour and you can be collecting leads into your high level CRM and it will blow your mind and will change the game and show you how powerful it is. And then if you do continue to use high level, you can run your entire business out of high level for a measly $97 a month and that gets you up to three sub accounts in high level. So you don't even need to sell this to clients or turn it into a SaaS or do any of that complex stuff. If you just wanna save money and have all of your automation tools, your page builder, your calendar, your marketing automation, your email templates, your sales pipeline, so you can get rid of pipe drive, you can get rid of Calendly, you can get rid of ClickFunnels, you can get rid of HubSpot, you can get rid of MailerLite, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, you can get rid of, you can almost get rid of Zapier, you can get rid of School or Circle or Kajabi, you can put all of that into high level for $97 a month. And then if you want to, and you understand how to use the platform and to get your confidence up, you can decide to resell it to clients as a managed service or as a SaaS. I mean, it's just an absolute no brainer and this is why I recommend it. And yes, of course, this is sponsored by High Level, but I've been making videos like this and talking about High Level long before they were sponsoring me. So if you are if you like this video, please click the thumb that does that, subscribe, share this with anyone you think might find it useful, click the bell to get notified when we put out new videos. Leave me a comment underneath this video to tell me where you're stuck or what you need next and we might even make a video to help you. All right, I'm Troy Dean, let's get to work.